Hello, cake bakers and filmmakers. Welcome to the Inspiration Club. On this show, I want to share with you all the books, movies, songs, blogs, podcasts, knitting trends. I want to share with you all the things that are inspiring me. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that this November through January time is one of my favorite times of the year. And not just because of Christmas, although I do miss Christmas. This is my favorite time of year because it's Oscar season, y'all. The Oscar goes to... At the end of every year, all of the awards movies make their big push. They come out and Sweet Bear and I, we have made it a bit of a tradition to go and see every movie that is nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Now, I know what you might be thinking. John, aren't some of those movies pretty racy? Aren't they secular? And worst of all, they're boring. Ugh. Before we go any further, it should be said, yes, some of these films, many of these films, will contain very adult content and themes. And so it's important to take some time and know yourself when it comes to engaging in these types of movies. However, I do want to tell you why going to see these films inspires me so much every year. First and foremost, something that I believe is that nothing inspires excellence more than excellence. What I mean by that is when I go and see other people do what they do at the highest possible level, whether it be filmmaking or writing or preaching or calf roping, whatever, it inspires me to reach for higher levels in what I do. If you want to be inspired to be better, surround yourself with the best. Secondly, I believe that exposure to great art makes you a more well-informed person. Part of the reason that many of these films are so highly acclaimed is because they are providing illuminating or creative commentary on the issues of today, whether that be race or gender or politics, religion, whatever. These movies challenge their viewers and they call us to think more critically about the world that we live in and the part that God has called us to play within it. And thirdly, I believe that exposure to stories that are different from your own increases empathy. Over the last several years, I have gone to see films like Moonlight, Wild, and American Sniper. Many of the narratives that are depicted in these movies could not be more different from my own. But through these films, I am allowed to step into someone else's shoes for a few hours and experience the way that they see the world. And by doing so, I often grow a greater appreciation and love for them. As believers, I believe one of our greatest calls is to increase our capacity for compassion and love. And I can't think of a better way to do that than by engaging with and experiencing other people's stories. So if you can get past a little bit of harsh language and maybe a sex scene here or there, and more important, if you want to be challenged, informed, and inspired, then I highly recommend you go and see these movies that are being nominated for Golden Globes, Critics' Choice, SAG Awards, and Oscars. They've inspired me, and I believe they'll inspire you too. Sorry, haven't really figured out a good ending line yet. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this video. As a little reminder for you all, again, in January, we are doing an experiment where I am previewing a new type of video every Friday. This Friday, today, this was the Inspiration Club, where, as I said before, I'm gonna be talking about and letting you all in on the books, movies, TV shows, whatever that is inspiring me right now. I'll share it with you, so hopefully it can be inspiring for you as well. I would love to hear in the comments down below what you thought of the Inspiration Club. But remember, hold off because at the end of the month, you are gonna be able to vote which type of video should be added into our Friday Canon. But for today, I would love for you to comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the Inspiration Club, or what have you thought about some of the Oscar-type movies that you have seen thus far. That is all I have for you today, though. I love you all. Keep being awesome.